Championship Weekend, brought to you here by Danny the Great Gillis and Mike Twisted Steel. Hello, Mike. Hello. This is the All-Star Game coaches, players, with a shorthanded players team due to the championship game at 3.45. Celtics versus Kings, everybody stick around. We have the coaches versus All-Stars, three-point contest, hot shot contest, and then the championship game. It's going to be a good day, Mike. It is, it is. Let's see who's gonna win this um, jump. It looks a little, a little offhand right now. Don't, Olgen. don't be surprised. Bonaco can jump. Bonaco Stroud. There it is. He just he proved me wrong. Terrence Nolan with the ball. Bring it up. Smooth. Court. He's smooth. Back to my old teammate KB. Not, not related to Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Bonaco Stroud bringing it up. Like AI baby. Like he's AI baby. We get a foul here on Craig Gardner. Glenn Higgins did not like that call. Does he like any call? Not really. Not at all. Where is Paul Conrad? That's what I want to know. Paul Conrad is nowhere to be found there. Bonaco Stroud with the little Tony Parker floater. The coaches win on the size. Coach Cliff. For the three, nothing. Beanie, Beanie Amos. Amos. Beanie Amos. Give it to him. What a lot Beanie of people Amos. don't know about number 21 for the coaches, Cliff Williams is the all-time leading scorer for the coaches, having 36 points in one game. Three-point field goal. Four. Four. It's all three of those. Four. The Kings coach. When we have a huge, huge coaching staff on the bench right now. Led by Joe there? Armstrong. We got Joe Armstrong, Chris DeVega, Joe Young, Gene Ease, Mike Pia, Picuato. who is leaving tonight for the Marines, so good luck to him. Uh, Rashad Langston and Mike McQuado. Nice fadeaway. By my brother in law, Jovan Walker. Offensive rebound. Offensive rebound by Beanie Amos. Showing the crowd what they want. OJ bringing up the ball like he's, uh... oh, I thought that was a travel. Another rebound by Coach Beanie Amos. That's three on my count. Within the first two minutes of the game. 7-0, coaches. Ten minutes left. Comfortable lead. With Kevin Barry steals Kevin the ball. Barry, three on one. Gives it to Craig Gardner. And he misses the bunny. Coach is playing a little too physical. Probably getting the kids back for a year of grief. Stale by OJ. Not looking up the court. Of course not. Terrence with a three point All field three goal. Point and it's good. He's on the mark where everything is three. Shermine, <laughs> sure, do you think there will be a traveling, uh, not a traveling team, a uh, tournament team this year? The All Stars. The way. The way that things have been going, I do not believe so, but I really hope so. I you, think are, you are an all-star yourself. I'm an all-star myself. Cannot play due to the game uh, right. later today. Either can Daniel Suda, Richard Rogers, Leslie Philippe, Philippe, Drew Weiner, Bobby Skane, Marvin Mothersill. And I think that's about it. But if there was, I think we can put a lot of damage on high school teams. Who do you think was the biggest all-star surprise this year? Actually, I already know that answer, and so don't you. He plays for the Lakers. He's number 47. He goes by the name of Josh, Josh Gomez. Gomez, a.k.a. Ben Savage from Boy Meets World. I think Josh Gomez is my candidate, my leading candidate, along with Donald Moose DeRoches and, honestly, Drew Weiner for Most Improved Player. Both of them really surprised me this year. Donald scored zero points last year, scored 12. That's a big improvement. Josh Gomez is scoring a season career high, 37. One of the best careers in neighborhood history. He has a jacket. He got a woo of the week, won a championship, lead, went to the All-Star game. It's incredible, incredible career. Pretty decent career. Now, Glenn Higgins, inbound with the ball. Jawan with the jumper. Got it. Everything's bouncing for them today. 
10 three coaches. I'm sorry, nine three coaches. Well, the pass to Kevin Barry. And the players are not finding anything fall today. From the looks of it, uh, Mr. Twisted Stare, we have a lot of Kings fans in attendance today. A lot of Kings fans. Yeah, we, have, we, have, we, have, we have jerseys, we have the, the, uh, the black and purple flying high, you know? I'm liking it. Big, big confidence booster. We had Ricky Douglas in the game, inbounding the ball to Greg Garner. Craig Garner. Matt Emanuel also in the game. Pass to the big man, Matt, posting up Beanie Amos down low. With the pass. Pass the ball to his, to his teammate. teammate. Got it. The sixes are working together. Right now it seems a little biased by Andy Robinson, putting three sixes in the game at a time. Scores now 9-5 coaches. Have, Higgins with the ball. They have the pass. To, yet to make Higgins, a sub. Higgins with the great pass. Cliff blew the bunny. You don't see that too much for him. Coaches ball on a great defensive play by Bonaco Straub. Somewhat resembles Mr. Cheeks. I, you know what? Where has he been? <laughs> he should be on the milk aisle. Oh, look at oh, the no pass. More pass from Matthew Emanuel. Oh, baby! That's my godson. That's my godson as well. What a great play. The Sixers are working together. Andy Robinson might be biased, but he is smart, ladies and gentlemen, because the score is 9-7 players. I mean, coaches. Not to get off the subject for a second, but uh, it is the Kings and the Celtics. I want to tip my hat to the uh, Sixers and Sonics for giving a, a run for our money, you know? Very, very big run for our money yesterday. Definitely. Came down to seconds with the Richie Rogers basket down low. Definitely. You can never play a Chuck Rogers team without... He's, he's a great coach. Without thinking they're dangerous or not. Cliff Williams, another great coach. And they're showing it today. Cliff Williams doesn't seem like he ever has emotion. Never. He's not Never. mad. He's a great guy, though. Great when he's guy. mad, it still seems like he's happy. Yeah. Coming to the middle. He's like Tim Duncan. Like Get the ball down low. What a play. And one. And one by Cliff. He's Cliff going Williams. to the line, and he's letting him move. See if he can make this a three point play. He misses it. Kevin Barry checks back into the game. Andy Robinson looks like he's have a strategy going. He's keeping players with the players. Joe Williams. Keeping the Pistons uh, with each other. Joe Young checking in for the uh, coaches. Joe Young. And Terrence, Terrence Nolan with the miss. Look at the Tommy points by Binocle Stroud to Glenn Higgins. Glenn Only Higgins. He's a tad bit quicker. An extra mile on the treadmill would do a great job. Coach Magic for the Celtics. Pairing in the Celtic green. Usual fashion. Rashad Langston is in the game also. And you, everybody knows he's the most exciting Josh player. Gomez, who I said was the most electrifying man in MBNL history. Entertainment. The most electrifying man in sports entertainment. And like I just said, what I was about to say, do you agree that Rashad Langston is one of the most exciting players in the history of the league? Absolutely, because I'll, I'll tell you right now, I went to school with Rashad. He has more heart than anyone on a court, a field, a baseball diamond, anything he does, he puts his whole heart. His size is one of the quickest men I've ever off. seen. And he has, he has jumps out the gym. Now, famous for this league, the Dennis Rodman, per se, of this league, Joseph Armstrong, is entering the game right now. He also played for two teams. He was a Celtic for two years, then got traded to the Lakers. Lakers. And he's now an assistant coach for the Lakers. Forgetting about all of his green past. Oh, yeah. Back into the game, one of the most colorful, one of the most electrifying, one of the smartest, one of the most athletic men in the league today. Number 15, his old number in the game. Kid that always wants to play, no matter how old he'll be, he'll always be in this league. <laughs> Who's that? That's what we love about him. Matty Manuel. Matty Manuel. Not well, many kids that size can shoot that can shoot that rock. I told you, only two, only two people that size can do that. That's him and my man, Jolly Roger, Miles Hickey. Joe Armstrong. He's doing work, baby. Two point. He's doing work. Two point field goal. 
Jump for shot. The, not in you, his range. Not for those range. of you who don't know what do work means, that is the king's model of the 2007. Always imitated, never duplicated. Tell him. A lot of people say it, but not a lot do it. You can go to work, but you don't do work. You don't do work. Joseph Bomb Joe down low again. Not with a smart pass on Jonathan Morose by himself. Glenn Higgins does not like the call. Again. And just let him play. Joe Young yet to be heard today. Joe Young yet to be heard. Sporting number 31. Joe Armstrong posting up down low. Brings it to Joe the rack. Drawing the foul. Mike's, Michael Wilkes oh, after it. Making a later fashionable appearance with his slick hair. Late fashion. Hey. Late fashion, but he hopes to do some damage in this game. Because this game might not mean too much, but when you're in it, you want to beat your players. When you're in it, you want to beat your coaches. It's all about trash talking. It's all it is. This league is built on it. The coaches want to get their players back for a season of hard work. The players want to get their coaches back for running. And they play hard. Nobody gives up on nothing. Another no-look pass to another sixer. Ricky Douglas with another two points. The future of the Sixers team. That was maybe was probably one of the best passes in the world. I agree with that. Checking in for the coach. Mike McQuado. Is Mike McQuado and sporting, sporting the Allen Iversons. Pumps. <laughs> and, and doing uh, work. Chris like DeVega he knows how for to the do. King. Co he's a coach of the Sixers. A great coach for the Sixers. Um, Sixers had a great game yesterday. Fell a little bit short. Thought it was their game yesterday. I honestly did. I honestly thought the Sixers had that game. They were up at Mike one point. Mike McQuado. Up, up at one point. Mike McQuado thought. You know, try to do his best. The team didn't listen. It happens to the best of us. Manquado and Christopher De Vegas in the game. The greatest, the greatest no look passer in the history of small neighborhood basketball league. Christopher Vega has a patent no look pass. Rashad <laughs> Langston, I'll run in. Uh, De is a big boy. Here. Big boy. It's gonna be hard to defend. He really is a big guy. Cliff not making too much noise today. Yet. And here comes the subs. You guys gotta block him out. You gotta block him out. Yeah, he's only blocking out. All right, coaches, coaches. We got a timeout. Beanie Stroud taking the player and the coach's job today. Beanie Amos. <laughs> the uh. Score right now is now 17-16, coaches lead. Tight game. Real Last tight year, game. the coaches got devoured by the players. Well, what, what I see this by, year is that the coaches... Plus margin. This year, the, the coaches this year seem like they haven't been, they haven't been hitting the, the, the weight room as hard as they should have been because they seem a little old. The knees are starting to buckle. Their age is starting to set in. Running up this court, they don't like it too much. The players have the agility. They have the speed. The coaches have the strength and the power. Let's see who wins this damn game. Speaking of Wiggins, where is Gary Rogers for the coaches? They can use his collar. Again, if you're just joining where us. Is, where is Chris Snipe Rogers, one of the, the, I will say, the greatest shooter in history of the league. Oh, absolutely. Very unorthodox style of shooting, but too bad he isn't on the court today. Rashad Langston with the ball, setting the pick to Joe Young, passing it back to Joe Young. Oh, he's trying to do a pick and roll, but it didn't work too well. Takes it to himself. Takes it himself. Takes it himself. Just did work. Do work. That's what he said. That's what he's bringing to the table. Morose. Bad pass. De Vega running with the ball. De Vega running with the ball. He's thinking that it's football. Who was a captain? He was a captain. In his heyday. Great defensive end, I believe. Ricky Douglas with the ball, not knowing what to do with it. Left. Kevin Barry looking to take Quarter. it all himself with a nice, nice oh. move. I call that the Tony Parker floater. You know why? Because Tony Parker Matt does Emanuel it. walking and screwing around with the coaches like it's just a big game. Stop. Scares him. It's Chris Vega looking for the nice pass. Joe Armstrong fade away. Vega with the blown bunny. Vega with the blown bunny. Five seconds left. Shot. 
Vega with the nice pass. Three, intercepted. Two, one. Four tenths of a second left. This is very intense. Joe Armstrong to Smiley. Pass it to Vega. To Vega will hit that open shot. And at the end of the first quarter, we have 1918 coaches. Very intense game, would you say? I would say that it is, actually. Um, the coaches are not, they're not giving up, but they're settling down a little bit because they're very tired. Fat fatigue is in them. Fatigue is hitting them. You see the, you see the camera on them, they're, they're weeping. The, the players also, I mean, the players look a little fresh right now. They have a lot of fresh legs on the bench that haven't even seen haven't the light even of day yet. Yeah, they really haven't. I'm looking to see Corey Spencer. Corey Spencer, who's, who's big my candidate for uh, rookie, of the year. rookie of the year? Either him or uh, Ricky Douglas. When, you, when, you, when you're 15 years old in your first year and you can score 17 points a game and lead the second in the league, yeah, you're, you're, you're something special. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Miles Hickey, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Hickey, everybody. One one member of the team in the championship team. Checking in for the players, we have Michael Love Traffery of the Sonics and Corey Spencer of the Bullets. And Gene. Gene Ida Pierre. Who like I said, good luck to him. Bat He's, AKA Batman. He is leaving for the Marines tonight. I wish, wish him the best of luck. Wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. May may God be with him, everything. He's gonna have a have a bright future. Was a great player for the Sonics. His was. nickname was Batman due to his Batman-like hairline that he used to have. <laughs> With the V coming all the way down. Again, taking the heave in the hole. That's the second time today. You hear Coach Amos saying that that was splendid. There's no word better perfected used by that man. Another, an, another shot. Hit and one. The players just do not know what they're doing. Just, we don't know if, 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 if strength and being wise, which one's better, but right now the wise men are stepping in. These coaches have played many games. It's a three-point play by Benaco Stroud, son of Lakers coach, Reverend Stroud. Evil Andy coaching for the Evil Andy. The, the He's thinking of three letters. L O T. L O T. Lack of oh, talent. talent. And he should be the spokesperson for that name. No, Evil Andy is a great, great coach. He's one of the happiest people I've ever met. Always, always here to help the players. Always. Benaco Stroud taking it to the house. Benaco Stroud might take that record of Cliff Williams today. He is. He is what we call doing work in the Kings in the Kings dynasty. Oh hell no, we're doing the, it seems like the players Pagana are too to scared to go down low. No good. Corey Spencer with the rebound. <laughs> nice pass by Bonaco. He's going to the line where everything is free. Foul was on Mike Fonzi Lopes Rafferty. That is his name, and everybody in the neighborhood has a nickname. Everybody in this neighborhood league has a nickname. If you don't, you need one. If you don't, if you don't have a nickname, there's a reason. And if you have one, there's a reason. If you don't have one, then you didn't deserve it. Bad or good, you have a nickname, no matter what kind of nickname it is, you deserve that nickname. Joe Young with two from the line where everything is free. Checking in for him is Lakers coach Beanie Amos. Beanie Amos seems to have a thing going. He gets players hot, takes them out, puts another ones in. He's conserving the stamina, conserving the energy. Another well-known fact about Beanie Amos is he is Malden High's all-time track style leader. He's very quick. With a one-handed rebound. There's the Vega with the, with the and one dribble. I don't know what he's doing. JP Luis out of bounds. Hey, look at the Barbie sky. What? Oh, my God. 
Starting to step things up, showing why he's here. Why he's an all-star. Because of that, he does it every night. If you've been to the neighborhood games and you know the person that says, shoot the J, shoot it. That comes from OJ's mouth. And also, what the heck, the coin to catchphrase. What the heck? And right now, what the heck was that? It's my brother-in-law, Javon Walker. Married to my sister. Great guy. Another one. Oh, he's going to the line. Back where, where, where everything, everything is, free. is free. Again, I think it's his third time on the line, and he does not miss from there, ladies and gentlemen. We got Sean Hickey on the camera. We got Danny Gillis helping me commentate this game. We got Michael Twisted Steel again bringing this to you at home. Live. Yeah, live. I don't know if you'll see this live, but it's live right now. It's happening. I, I, I've seen the like these um, all-star jerseys right now. I love these jerseys. Yeah, I think I'm, they look I'm, good. I'm digging them. Great colors. Slimming. A rebound. Feasting it up. Shaq style. Another rebound. Players cannot stop the coaches on the rebound. Michael Wilkes Rafferty with the rebound, actually. Back to Craig Garner. Fast breaking. Pulls it back. Back to smooth Terrence Nolan. Getting fouled by Beanie Amos, who, who probably Number has 23. the longest arms I've ever seen in, in my pterodactyl like. It, it's incredible. He could probably scratch his ankles without bending over. That was a great analogy. <laughs> he is smooth. That's one way to describe him. He's smooth. Absolutely. Sitting next to us is Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger, want to say a few words? Yeah. Jolly Roger is a loss of words. Rich, now we have another another. We have Richard Rogers. Would you like to say a few words about this game? He would not like to say a few <laughs> words about this game, but that's all right because we're here sitting this, sitting here giving this game to you like it is. We don't. We're not biased. We're just telling you how it is. Another one. Another Benaco one. Banaco Stroud is on fire today. Cannot be stopped. And Iverson like. He's a little mix with Iverson. A little mix with Tony Parker. Josh Gomez, 47, with the pass to Ricky Douglas. Nothing. And where everything is a three-point shot, it wasn't a three-point shot. They're bringing it back to two, three. Glenn Higgins back in the game, along with Glenn Higgins Beanie with a three-point field goal earlier in the game. I believe so we this know was he can a do it. Starting lineup. We know Glenn can hit those threes, those trays. Got a kickball here. Let me take it right outside. With five and a half minutes left, the score is 27-25. Coaches. Cliff blows the bunny. We got a travel here by OJ. What the heck? Cheridor. <laughs> the plays coach is going absolutely out of control. Glenn Higgins again with another three point shot. No good. Missed rebound by Corey Spencer. He needs to look up. Going it. You gotta, look at, you gotta look at Josh Gomez. You could have looked at Josh Gomez for that one. Craig Garner, I really think he's a great point guard. The best, in my opinion, one of the best in the league, top three. Absolutely. He has all the essentials. He's, he's quick, he's, he's also to do big. He's also a big, big kid. And he looks like Morris Chestnut. I would, I'm not mad at that. Oh, no. Ladies love him. Cliff, Cliff Williams, Williams with a great down low move. Cliff Williams about 6'4, 6'5, maybe. A great move. Glenn Higgins getting the papers on him. Getting close, coming out of his zone, but he's coming up on him. That's a travel, but not called. Maybe it was a makeup call because he took hop, step, and a jump. Glenn Higgins taking this game. He wants to win this game. He knows what to do to win this game. He's probably the most competitive person I've ever met in my life. That's what you like about him. He's led his team to a couple, to two championships in a row. One loss last year. We don't know how today's gonna end up, but two to even make it there is a hard accomplishment. He's won one in 2001. We know he can win it. He wants to win. 
for these players right now and these coaches are giving up, not even turning their back to them. Score is now tied, 29-29. Good game. I still got my money on the ball. coaches, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I think at the end of the game, fresher legs prevail. <laughs> and I'm going to take the players in this game. All, although they are undermanned, the players in this game, because fresher legs will prevail. Corey Spencer getting the ball, oh, throwing it out of bounds. Legs, not knowing that one of the coaches had touched the ball. Glenn, Glenn Higgins, Coach Glenn Higgins taking the ball off the court. Stolen from Craig Garner Every, by himself. Everything that he has described, with everyone bringing up the ball, he should pass through when someone is pressuring you. He just completely went against it. But uh, I'm at not liberty to say anything like that because I am on recording right now. Oh, no, not, nothing against him. That's a great guy. He knows what he's talking about. I mean, obviously. Cliff Williams again with a nice down low move, but the miss. He's part reason why, why the Kings are in the championship again, you know? Corey Spencer out of bounds, off his knee. To the coaches. But not Getting in the rough space. Getting in the rough space. Dave, Ask. who was a great ref, by the way. Never gets mad. Never. He's another always, one. Always calls the ball. Always, always calls it down the line. A lot, of, a lot of old Bald Neighborhood basketball stars are here today. That is Craig old Gardner's star of the Pistons, sale. Cliff Pelier is here. Cliff Pelier, I also played with him my first year on the team. I was number one pick that year, and I played with a great player. He uh, taught me every, a lot of good things, a lot of good things. A lot of old neighborhood stars are here. We had Phil Steele here. Phil Steele, my cousin, my cousin, was a former 76 who got traded to the Bulls and won a championship, won his own jacket. Did exactly what I did. I think the Steele family... It's just a zone and tradition. You're on a bad team for two guys, years, you, you get traded, you win a winners. championship. We don't like to lose, I'll tell you that much. But he's a gr also a great point guy, a great shooter. I'm a little bigger than him. I play a center position. We also have just a lot of, a lot of old faces here tonight. It's like a reunion. Myself. I mean, I was a king from... Daniel Gillis was a king. 2003 through 2005. Missed the championship by two years. By two years. It's all right, though. Played, so played with George Baker, another great Kings player. Could have been a lot better if he stayed with the organization. With JT last. I played with some of the best, you know? Still stays in coaches. Will always I, be a Kings I need, coach. I need a jacket, baby. He, ble he bleeds purple and black. Los Rafferty. To Morose. To Jonathan, Jonathan Morose. On the fast break with Kevin Barry. Takes the shot. No good. Beanie is out of bounds. Off his foot. Play his ball. Got a sub coming in. Terrence Nolan coming right back. A hawk for a hawk. Go figure. Kevin Barry open for the J. Got it. No. Glenn Higgins with the rebound. Stop it. Slowing it down. Good Rashad pass Langston. to Rashad Langston. By himself. Got it. Doing what he does best. Entertaining the crowd. And dropping the two points. Terrence Nolan back to Craig Garner, which is controlling the game with a nice pass down low. No good. Blown by Matt Emanuel. Javon Walcott with the rebound. Not realizing that Rashad's only five feet tall. Throw it a little high, but he's up there. He remind, he's a warrior. Reminds me, Allen Iverson does not care. Gafalea blowing the bunny down low, but a hard contested shot nonetheless. A little mismatch right now. Terrence Nolan for all three of those, no good. Lopes Rathery goes up for the two. Box out, Glenn. You got Glenn's Kings players giving him some razzing. A little razzle dazzle. Just, he, they've been hearing it all year, they're just trying to give it back. Stuffed by Matthew Emanuel. Oh my God. That's my godson. That's also my godson. Matt Emanuel stuffing Beanie Amos for all the hardships this year. Showing him what do work really means. We got three on one. Oh my god, nice pass behind Beautiful. the back. Smooth Terrence Nolan to Craig Garner. Some move. The players are giving him, the players are doing a little taunting right now. The players think this is all in the bag. Winning, the players are up 35 31. 35 31 again, the players. Play his ball now. 
Joe Armstrong getting ready, walking back and forth, pacing, making me nervous. He's ready to do work. Making me nervous. Matt Emanuel, get, oh my God! Beanie Amos trying to get him back for the stop. Jumps on his head, sits there like he's a lounge chair. That is sit, what you call a bridge. Beanie Amos sits there like it's a damn lounge chair. On his back, wanting to get Matthew Emanuel back. He doesn't succeed. He made him look foolish. Wearing, thinking that he's at the line, he's, he's very confused. It's still the player's ball. Beanie Amos will get him back. Dave and Evil Andy. Dave doesn't really care what Andy has to say. Which you gotta respect the coach. You gotta respect the coach. Tries to sell it, doesn't work. Doesn't work. You're not a player. If you're not a player, you haven't played in a long time. That's why we're the players, they're the coaches. We play, they coach. So when it comes down to playing, <laughs> Olsen showed us screaming his catchphrase. Shoot, Shoot it! Shoot it! Good oh, good passing. This is an all-star game if I've ever seen one. And at the, at end, the of the end of the half. And at the end of the half, we have the coaches winning 37-31. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, the players winning 37-31 in a great all-star game. I still love the coaches winning. They're, uh, they're a little wear and tear right now. But it's, uh, it's no problem. We've got my niece right here. I love her very we much. Have, we have the, the stamina of the players versus the strength of the coaches. We're going to see gonna what doozy. happens. Great game right now. Beanie oh. Amos and Matt Emanuel, the big story of the night. Oh, we'll see right, what happens. Let's get it cracking. We're back with you now. Play is leading 37-31 at the beginning of the third quarter. Joe Young, Rashard Langston, Mike Paquato, and J.P. Luis. Joe Armstrong for the coaches. Mike L Lopes Rafferty, Jonathan Morose, Ricky Douglas, Corey Spencer, and Olsen Sheridor for the players. And if you are just now joining us, I am Danny Gillis, coach of the Kings, along with my player, Michael Twisted Steel. And Sean Hickey doing, Sean Hickey doing the, the camera. camera. A sixer. Bringing this to you live. But if you see it, it might not be live, but it's live right now. Corey, Corey Spencer averaged 17.5 games this, uh, points per game this year. Joe Armstrong Corey. trying to get down the business, and he's doing what a it. Great, great play by Joe Armstrong. By the way, he pointed to you. He pointed to me in that one. He told me right, be right before he goes, "This next shot's to you," and he hit it. He said the next one's for me. And the next back one. on Corey Spencer because I want to do a little play profile of the rookie. Sure. 17.5 points a game, and he's scoring oh, with an air ball. Looks airball. good though. I did from here. Scoring 227 yeah. points this year. 40% from the line, playing 13 games. I think he is second in the league in scoring as a rookie. 15 years old, I believe. Couldn't do too much about the season, though. Rebound with Rashard Langston. Little man Got shooting it. the ball. I said little man, but I'm not measuring the guy's heart. I'm measuring his size, but that has nothing That's to do with how he line. plays. Jonathan Got Evil Annie sporting the L.O.T. shirt. And we all know what that means. Lack O. Talent. Thank you very much. Michael Lopes Rathley passing the ball to Ricky Douglas with the patent three-pointer. Nothing. To Joe Armstrong over the back for Michael Lopes Rathley. Foul, I don't know. Charge foul, called on OJ. Joe Young did that, sold that like the WWE wrestler. Evil Andy having a conniption right now. Having a conniption right now. We got some subs here. We got Kevin Barry coming in from Michael Lopes hyphen. Raftery. Hyphen, you gotta forget the hyphen. He's just not Michael Lopes. It's just Lopes Raftery. Now Kevin Mary coming in the game. Doing work. Joe Armstrong, that's Again. me, baby. Six points right now on my count. Six points. Looking at Andy. We got a timeout here. 
He might, he might have to do some work for Joe Armstrong. Joe Armstrong saying he ain't playing. He ain't playing. But we all know the truth. He is playing. Oh, he's going to do something stupid. Joe Armstrong. What did you say, Joe Armstrong? Joe Armstrong, it's crazy right now. He wants to talk. They ain't winning. They ain't winning. So you heard it there, folks. Heard it first. You heard it first right there from Joseph Armstrong. Joseph Armstrong. I'm saying they're not winning. The spaceman. Coaches know for a fact they're not winning. It's tied up right now, 37-37, the third quarter. But the thing is, look at the young all bucks. the old guys are on the on the bench. Look at, look at the young bucks. The old guys on the bench and all the young bucks, all, they knew, Beanie Amos knew that they, the old guys are coming in the fourth quarter. You got to keep those fresh legs in, the young coaches in for a little bit. Ozan Sheridor, just too much to handle for these coaches. Rashad Langston passing the ball to Mike McQuado with a great play to and heave in the hole and one. This is why these coaches, Christopher, the Christopher DeVega checking into the game with, I believe, Beanie yes. Amos. Or Beanie Amos thinks it's a Lakers game right now. But, but the Kobe Bryant with Nikes on. Excuse me, that Beanie Amos, Beanie Amos, Beanie Amos screaming the Pat and OJ chant. Screaming the Pat and OJ chant, known all over this arena. Glenn Higgins talking trash from the bench. You are too. Yeah, yeah. Hey, keep the ball. Kevin Barry with a pass to Corey Spencer. Right back to him, over to Gardner. Nice pass back to Corey Spencer. Two-point shot down low in his zone. Matt Emanuel trying to cover the shot. Two pass. To Mighty Joe Young. Not the movie. Just Mighty Joe Young is his nickname. Iquato again with another shot. Getting big now. JP Louis going in the game, a.k.a. Batman. A.k.a. McKente back in high school. DeVega just standing there, putting his hands up. Kevin Barry for all three of those. Got it. Shoot it. Got it, kid. Will you give him a technical he's on the court? Eight minutes left in the quarter, 43-41 players. Great Joe pass Armstrong. to Christian back to Joe Armstrong. Will not miss, will not miss. Screaming right now. Screaming like it's the Lakers heyday back when he was rocking the purple and yellow. And Uncle Stroud with the shirt on, I don't think he's playing anymore. He just knows it's over. With the three-pointer to pass the coaches. Terrence Nolan. Players up 47-43 if you just tuned in. I think all these all these coaches are looking for Joe Armstrong in the middle because he's just automatic right now. Joe, Al Joe Young. Mighty Joe Young bringing it. Joe Armstrong back again, to the ball again. Scoring again. Minutes. Screaming. Let's go. Let's Joe go. Armstrong Let's go. Joe, Joe Armstrong, Armstrong is doing work. Joe Armstrong is doing work. Do work. Always imitated. Never duplicated. My patent catchphrase that Mike Steele made up brought to the Kings. Brought to the Kings. It's the Kings now. Motto. It's, 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 it's a phrase. motto. First day, Mike Steele came there. He said, I'm doing work. Doing they work. believed him. Joe Armstrong is now taking that and showing what do work means, and that's exactly what it means. You're getting down low. You're getting dirty. You're doing work. You're not getting paid for it, but you're volunteering to do work. Stolen by Craig Garner with the pass and one. Going to the line where everything is free. Craig Garner, number 20. Looking to get a three-point play. There's been a lot of three-point plays today, and not from the three-point line. I'm talking about an and one. If you don't know what an and one is, is when you hit the shot, you get fouled, and you hit that shot. Michael Shroud wants to get back into the game right now, wearing his Hawks shirt. <laughs> Ojin screaming again. Shoot it. DJ, shoot it. Banaco Shaw coming to the game, unstoppable today, unstoppable. Mr. Vega, Mr. Vega is being checked in from Banaco Shaw, checked out from like Banaco hotel Strauss. room. Back to Mighty Joe Young. I'm on the bench, I'm on the court. 
I mean, Andy just questioning people's manhood coaches tonight. Coaches going against coaches. Not, not. You can't get that personal. Kevin Barry looks for the three. Mighty Joe Young taking the ball off the court, which I think is going to work. Cross country, losing the ball. Oh, foul by Terrence Nolan, another rookie. Terrence Nolan, and back to my, I have my rookie player profiles tonight. We have Terrence Nolan, also in the top 10 in scoring this year. It's a big rookie season. We don't really call them rookies because they seem like they've been in the league for three years. Terrence Nolan, scoring 15 points a game, 180 points in the season, in only 12 games out of the 14 games. It's very, very impressive. 52% from the line. Stolen by Joseph Armstrong, not just playing offense, also playing his sheer share of D. He got to look it up. Joe Young got scores. It. Joe Young, Celtics coach, assistant coach game, of the Magic. And gentlemen. 49-47 players. Oh, over to three-point land where Corey Spencer brings it in. And one. one. What's that? Back to the line. 12-man, one for the game? 12 man, one for the um, something like that. But you know that's the Tony Parker floater. You already know. Going to line where everything's free. You don't want to walk off. It's free. You ain't paying to get to that line. That's a free line. Nobody's looking at you. Where was the foul? He went around him. How was that foul? Javon Walcott subbing in for on fire Joseph Armstrong. Josh Gomez also checked into the game. Number 47. Nice rebound. Sean Langston looks up to Bernardo Stroud, who is on fire, and he got and another he one. again. Are you going to stop him? I'm about to strap up my uniform. I made the all-star game, and I want to strap my, my uniform and show what I can do to these coaches. Yes, if, again, if you're just now joining us, there is more all-stars. They can't play because they are in the championship game. You will see them in action if they are in the three-point or the hot shot. Uh, name some. We got Mike Steele, who's right next to me, Danny Suda. Les Marvin Mothersill. Richie Rogers, Drew Weiner, and Bobby Skeen. All excellent players. Or else they wouldn't be All-Stars. And they wouldn't be in the championship game. But Marco Stroud sneaking on the other side of the basket. Doing what he does. He's a little sneaky. Very sneaky. And I'm not talking about Mr. Deeds because the butler are Mr. Deeds either. He's very, very sneaky, sir. But Marco Stroud. Jotham Rose seeing him. Seeing it. He knows how a coach plays. His coach taught him everything he knew. Now he's going back down there. Drake's drawing with one or two. The press being put on. Half court press, here we go. Back to Cliff Williams. The leading, the, the all time leading scorer for coaches. 36 points. Which is a very hard mark to beat, but Joe Young is looking for that mark. For the two point conversion. Two point conversion. This isn't football, but that was a two point shot. Same point, though. Give it to Gomez. Josh Gomez. Not knowing what to do Bottom with that ball. Fingers. Throwing up Craig Garner's face. He's down, holding his nose, getting back up. He He's seems all right. All right. Oh. Being stuffed by Ricky Douglas. Another great candidate for uh, Rookie of the Year. Yeah, Rookie Douglas. Back to the Rookie Spotlight. That's what I call it. I have my own. This is my patent Rookie Spotlight. If you're thinking about using it, call me up. Give me some money. Because I don't do this for free, folks. Shot by Joe Young. Rebound by a little man, but not Stroud. And he's going to the line, but he did not get the bucket. So back to Ricky Douglas in the rookie spotlight. Ricky Douglas, again, in the top ten all year, but falling out at the end to Michael Steele. Twisted Steele. But Ricky Douglas is an incredible player. Ricky Douglas scoring 11.4 a game, 171 points in all 15 games played. Only behind Olgen Sheridor with 50% shooting from the free throw line. 12 three pointers this year, which is incredible. Ricky Douglas, just that's why he's clear. an all star. I just want to make it clear that uh, it's going to come down to Corey Spencer and Ricky Douglas. And but, Terrence Nolan. And Terrence Nolan, don't get me mistaken. But the thing that I'm going to like about Ricky Douglas is his team made the playoffs. You know, I mean, the other two, they probably scored more than them, but Ricky's a team player. He was clutch against the Celtics. Clutch, very clutch, very clutch. Scored two, two, Hits three. the threes when they count. When they counted, you Matt know. Matt Emanuel down low, scoring he's again. A he was a clutch shooter like back in the day, Danny Ainge. If you don't know who Danny Ainge is, you need to watch some more Celtics and basketball. if you don't know who Danny Ainge is, you probably shouldn't be a basketball fan. And you have some lack of intelligence from Miles Zicky. Bad 
pass by Coach Cliff William. Back to Craig Garner, looking to repay with the left hand on the right side. Got it. That, uh, you don't see that much. Score is now 56-52 players who have had a, a lead ever since they took over. They have not given that lead up. Back to Coach Vini Amos. Dribbling the ball. Try to start over. Nice they pass. Bring it up top. Binaco Stroud looking to drive in the basket again. And score. It cannot be stopped. Binaco Stroud, very, very good. Did not know he was this good. That was a nice play by Rashad Langston. Rashad Langston checking out of the game. We got Glenn Higgins checking into the game. Okay, Matt Emanuel getting the ball down low again, cannot be stopped, gets blocked. Out, out of bounds, last touch by Beanie Amos. It didn't look like that from air, but it was. Josh Gomez checking in the ball to Ricky Douglas. Trying to do everything by himself. Matt Emanuel is there to back him up. Gomez, Gomez. takes the shot. No good. Misses. Thought he great was shot fouled. taken. Thought he was fouled. Coach Beanie Amos with the rebound. Looking to go cross country. Falls, but still up. That's a questionable call. Beanie, right. Coach Beanie Amos did not move. You see him trip. He tripped. Coach Amos did not move. But when you're on the ground, it looks questionable. You're gonna you're gonna be called for a traveling call. You can't do nothing about that. Ref, ref you, has you really can't, you really can't. Gomez driving to the basket on Coach Cliff Williams. What a great take. Should have been a foul. Bernardo Stroud taking the ball from court in old time fashion. To the hoop. Nothing. Looking like the. To the hoop. Got it. He's got to have at least 14 points. 56 apiece. Coach Beanie Amish inbounding the ball. Nobody's there. Passing it to Coach Glenn Higgins. See, what a lot of one players don't understand is that you really have 15 seconds to get it from one side to the half court. Which is hard if they're doing a press. Yeah, exactly. Ricky but Douglas by himself. With Lock. a no-look pass to really nobody, but Terrence gets the ball, goes down low. Nothing. Out of bounds nope. players, coach's ball. Not realizing that they're surrounded 50, by their own players. And just, you just tune in, it's 56-56. Tied game, players and coaches. It's basically been tied the whole game. Nobody's really ran away with the score. A really high-scoring game. Stuff by Ricky Doubler. Back to his teammate with Terrence Nolan on the left. Passing to Terrence Nolan. The miss. Rebound back by Matt Emanuel. Nice pass. Faking on Coach Beanie Amos. But Beanie Amos being the aggressor on that one and getting the rebound. Bernardo Stroud to his blown bunny. He blew the bunny. The crowd is going wild because they love to see people blow the bunny. Stuffed by Coach Cliff Williams. Back to his team player. Nobody knows. It's like mad. Oh, we Glenn, got Glenn Higgins fouling. Being very aggressive. Not meaning to, but being very, very aggressive. Fouling Ricky Douglas. You can't do much about that. Two point three seconds left in the third. Two, one, one. Nothing. Matt Emanuel, the end nice of the shot third. We have uh, all tied up, 56-56. That's where it all counts. At the right end here. of the third. Tied up 56-56. About to start the last quarter. Unless doesn't, I don't think the coach can go past. The coach can go past another quarter. They're looking very, very faint right now. The players are smiling. They look like they have four more quarters in them. They want to keep playing and pounding it down their throats. These coaches ain't going to give up, though. They want revenge. Coaches will not players. give up. If I was smart, if I was being Emus, I'd keep the young guns in for a little bit and put the big guys in at the end. Fourth quarter, this is it, folks. Again, if you're just now joining us, we have this game when it is in the fourth quarter right now. We have the three-point contest, the hot shot contest, and the championship game between Chris Rogers' Kings and Magic Eves Pierre Celtics. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bloodbath basically. 
Everything's going to be left on the court like yesterday against the Sonics. There was a lot of blood shed in the court yesterday. Also, myself, got blacked out for a couple seconds. Um, got hit in the mouth, got hit in the jaw, blood, spitting out blood. Got a Came back with your team, though? Came back with the team at the end of the game. Just grabbed big rebounds at the end of the game and pat and win the game, got ultimately. The, got the w. A lot of blood squirting out of my mouth yesterday. Got my head slammed off concrete, and that was a wrap. Again, though, we're not trying to be biased. We, we, we love we're not talking about that. Here. We're talking about this game right the all-star game right now. Went almost not looking. He wants Went. to take it to the bucket. The lefty. Great take. Nothing. To J.P. Luis, putting it back in after a great take by Glenn Higgins. That. Terrence Nolan tearing the ball up the court. Looking to pass to Olsen Sheridan with a three-point three. shot. Nothing. That's not his shot. He shouldn't he should shoot that jet. He shouldn't shoot it. Oh. Glenn Higgins with a nice pass to Joe Armstrong, which has been hot as of late. Oh. With another shot. Let's he's got, go. He's, got he's screaming. Let's go. He got himself 10 points in this half. Is I'm he not leading? too sure. Is he leading? It's between him and Bernardo Stroud. I'm telling you now. Josh, I'm looking to break that goddamn record. I don't know if I can say that. I'm sorry if I did. Stuff by J.P. Luis on Olsen Sheridor. Mighty Joe Young going up by himself. Got it. Scoring. We got ourselves a lead now. Co I'm sorry, I was wrong. Coaches are looking to be the young guns right now. 62-56 coaches. The biggest lead of the night. Joe Armstrong confessing to the crowd that he's not playing. But he is playing, ladies and gentlemen. He is playing. The coaches are what the Kings are called, doing work. Doing work. If you don't know what it means, you shouldn't watch Malden Neighborhood Basketball League. Doing Co work is the most... The players look like they want to cry right now. I don't know what Bobby Skate I don't know what he just said, but... I think he was trying to imitate our right-hand man right here, John Roger Roger. Hickey. Do you have anything to say about this game, Roger? You heard it first, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, he just dropped... Both of our IQ is about 25 points. <laughs> but we're not talking about that. We're talking about players, coaches, all-star game. 22nd annual, if I believe. I'm not too sure how far the all-star players game went back. That Glenn Higgins looking dying of thirst right now. How are you feeling? Feeling great. Excellent. I'm glad you guys are Better out. Than I have in Coach Glenn Higgins right now. Being very aggressive having, on the having, rebounds. Having drinking a, a strawberry colada. Back to the game. We got Michael Old Draft three scoring three. Where everything's three. You can't step before it and get a three. The only time you can get a three is beyond that damn line. Again, I said it. I'm sorry if I did. <laughs> Coaches not knowing where they are, not knowing how many time ups they have. Ricky Douglas, second personal. Looking to get taken out of the game. I'm not sure. No, he's actually staying in. Timeout, coaches. Score is now 62-59. They have all of their timeouts. They're probably going to use them very wisely. You know, the older they get, the wiser you are. I'm not calling these men elderly, but they are a little bit on the, you know. They're getting close to the Depends. You know? Close to the Depends diapers. Suffolk Man is calling their name in a few years. A couple more years. Maple, Maplewood Place is going to be knocking at their doorstep. McFadden, wherever you want to go, you know? We got a weird ranges from coaches. We have a range from 19, I'm guessing, to the late 30s. So maybe even early 40s. I don't really know. Maybe. They're all young at heart, though. They come out here, volunteer their time. Still to playing. Train, you know? Still playing. Still kicking, and I believe they'll be kicking for many years. A lot of people are packing into the stands today. I assume to watch the championship game, but also to watch three the hot shot contest and the three-point contest. Who's your favorite in those? In the three-point contest, my favorite, honestly. And we can uh, talk about a little wager off, off camera, if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. But my favorite for the three-point contest is actually going to be um, a, big, a big surprise. I'm the, I have one of three people. It's going to either be Jeremy McCormick from the Bullets, because I like his release, and I like underdogs. Or Daniel Suda, that's representing the Kings, 
or another one would have to be the man who just shot Terrence Nolan, baby. It might have to be Terrence Nolan. But I like, I, I'm gonna like an underdog in this. For the, for the hut shot contest, I'm gonna go with the Jolly Roger. Yeah, we're going with the same person right there. With the Jolly Roger. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, the Jolly Roger is accustomed to shooting three point shots. The hut shot isn't his cup of tea, but we'll see today. He can accustom to anything. We got Joe Young with the heave and the hope. Joe Young dropping. The, what is this, the 27th and one of the day? It gotta be. It's gotta be. Joe Young's already his third. Probably have as many and ones as the coaches have points, and that would be 66. Is he wearing and ones? Is the, is the question. Oh, no, he's wearing Adidas. Threes all day. With the green socks. The green socks. And he gets the three points? No, he doesn't. Violation on the coaches. Joe Armstrong doesn't know what he's talking about. Joe Armstrong doesn't even know what a violation is right now. He's so into the game. Joe Armstrong getting taken out of the game. JP Luis back in the game. Playing center. Chris Vega forward. Mike McQuado forward. Up top, Joe Young and Rashad Langston. Ogden driving down. JP Luis stuffing him for the second, Batman. second, second, second time of the day. Here. Joe Young Joe back Young to the line. Wants to win this game just as bad as he wants He's to going win to the line where everything is free. They give it him two. That's what they do. If people come to this game, a little, if people want to go to the championship game, they better start coming now because the seats are packing, packing. We have a, a great a whole line change. Stand. This isn't hockey, but it's a line change oh, right oh, now. Yeah. We, got, we, we have got Matt Emanuel, Kevin Barry, Jonathan Morose, Josh Gomez, Craig and Craig Garner. Garner checking in for who was just in the game. I don't feel like naming them all again. <laughs> Joe Armstrong, quick to get back in the game. Looking to get that rebound, but he can't if Joe Young hits it. Craig Garner taking the ball up court with open eyes. Pushing it to the right. Oh, look back the to the middle. Look at back the to the middle. Stuffed by Chris DeVega off Josh Gomez. What a great down low move oh, from Coach DeVega. Stuff of his life. No disrespect, Chris. I don't want you to bend press me. Posting up down low. Rashad Lincoln passes DeVega, taking the three point shot, and it's an air ball. We got an air ball here. Take it to the hole. You need to shoot up. Another air ball match from the coach's air ball by Jonathan Morose. Pushing up the court, Joe Young stolen by Morose. Back to Josh Gomez. Pushing it to Emmanuel. Again with the sub. He got two stuffs today. Take it by himself. It was a Joe Young being a little greedy today. He's being a little greedy today. If you don't play all year and you, you, you're getting that game, you're going to want to win. We got a check. We got a check. Matt Emanuel got the check. He was yapping Matthew to Emanuel with a check. Holding on to people's shorts, tugging on shorts, pulling a page out of Ron test book. Matt Emanuel, technical, gets taken out of the game by Andy. Andy's flipping out. We got Matthew Emanuel again with the technical, laughing his head off. Like it's a joke. Like but it's you a game. know what? It's an all-star game. You can do stuff like that as long as it's for the love of the team, uh, love of the league, and no, there's no hot feelings. Score is now 69-62. Coaches. The Vega passes to Joe Armstrong down low with a missed bunny. The Jonathan Rose looking up court. Cross country. Brings it back a little bit. No threes! No threes! Chris! Rose takes it in. Nothing. Misses the shot. Cliff Williams grabs the rebound. Just throws it. Back to Olsen Sheridor stolen. Kevin Barry with the cleanup. With the score for two. They cut the lead down from 69 to 64. Five-point lead from the coaches. Coach Bean Amos is having all the old guys come in the game. Older, 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 older men. Older men. We have 
Coach Binaco Stroud, Coach Beanie Amos, Glenn Higgins, Javon Walcott. Javon Walcott. We have Joe Armstrong. He got it again. again. Look at him. I say they keep Joe Armstrong in, put Binaco in, and they can't be stopped because those two are the leading scorers leading of the day. Scores. I can't I can't count on two fingers how much points they have. Kevin Barry with the three-point shot. No good. Misses it. Grabs the rebound by Ke Fred Garner. Back to his old partner. And the shot and one. In one shot. Chris Vega with the foul coming out of the game. Joe Armstrong, Joe Armstrong with 14 points, just letting you guys know it. Do work. He also said the catchphrase, do work. He's letting you, you know guys what? know it. Just because he did good, I'll let him say it. And I ain't going to make him pay me money for saying that. But if you want to say it at home, you better pay me money. Kevin Barry, where everything is free from the line. 71 to 67 with a tight game. Coaches. Winning by the coaches. Gwen Higgins bringing up the Glenn ball. Gwen Higgins bringing up the ball. Pass it to Coach Cliff Williams. Look Scoring at, with a great pump fake. Great pump fake with a two point down low. Cargana pushing the ball up court. They don't have time to waste. Back to Corey Spencer for the three. Nothing. Rebound by Coach Javon Walcott. Bringing it to Binaco. Binaco Stroud driving. Cannot be stopped. Hasn't been stopped all day. Grabs the rebound, rebound on Olsen Sheridor. On Olsen Sheridor. Letting, Sheridor. Letting them feel it. Letting them know that size does not matter in basketball. That's a travel. Oh, look at that. by Coach Cliff stuff. Williams. His own coach. Ogen. His own coach. Ogen's the third time of the night being stuffed. Oh, you got to look up. Stolen by Ricky Douglas. 75, 67 coaches. Coaches get the ball back. Beanie Amos. And the bucket. Foul. And, and one. the bucket. Another and one. Another and one. Kevin Barry. I mean, Kevin I thought, Foul I'm by Kevin Barry. Slam jam, bam it. You know what I mean? Slam jam, wham. Thank you, ma'am. That reminds me of the old Charles Barkley Sega Genesis games. If you are under the age of, let's say, 15, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Missed shot. Rebound by the players. They got to push it if they want to win this game. Okay, Garner driving to the basket. Out of balance, playing too hard. What a huge, huge, huge call that could turn the momentum in the game. We got ourselves a 10 point lead by the coaches. I don't know why they should stress it so much. I mean, there is about maybe four and a half minutes left in the game. I'm not 100%, though. Still plenty Kevin of time. Kevin Barry with left. a three point shot. Missed. Nothing. Tarlonzo Amos going for the bucket. He's doing it. He's doing it. Taunting the crowd. Ricky Douglas with a three point. Rebounded by Coach Cliff Williams. The coach that's taking this game away. I was wrong about stronger legs prevailing. Because wise men with the strength. Look at this. They're making it look so easy. Cliff Williams doing it like he usually did it. Now he's coming back and showing why he is the best coach in this league. Along with Coach Binaco Strout. We got a, a timeout by the players, baby. Not best coach, score best coach player. Coach Binaco Stroud is just very, very happy today. We have today. a score, 81 He knows it. Now that he knows, they cannot Look stop. At the, Look at the smiling faces on the coaches here. Joe Armstrong doing God knows what. We're going to call that the I'm Hungry There's going to be a lot of Ben Gay being used tonight. Oh, absolutely. A lot of Ben Gay used tonight. I wonder what the, the players are talking about. What they're going to be doing after the game, because it's obviously not strategy for this game, because they are losing by. That, that's, that's what makes us win the game. That's what makes us win the game. Yeah. Again, with the score 81 67, coaches. They have a pretty comfortable lead. Joe Armstrong showing what Flexing, he does best. Doing work. Coined Mike Steele. You want to say it? Call me. 71 through 2 3 through. Always said, never duplicated. You can't duplicate that. I told you. No, what is it? Never imitated? Ne always imitated. Always imitated. Never, never duplicated. duplicated. You can say it, but it's not the same thing. You can go to work, you can do work, but it's not the same. 
pass to Oza Cherido down low. Blocked again, again for the fifth Following time. his player. no foul there. That was straight ball. He you let the bird me. go out of the nest, and now he's following his player. The coaches do not like that call. Olsen's going for the line where everything's free. Three, taking two shots. First one, hit. Got it. Back the second one. They're trying to chant him. They're with doing the, the Pat Olsen's chant from the Olsen's fan. Olsen. Oh. Pass Bean. coach Bernardo Stroud. He blows, blows the bunny. bunny. Blows the bunny. Blows, blows the, bunny. the bunny. He says it. He says it whenever we do it. But he really did blow the bunny. He got it all three. Corey Spencer, no, got his own rebound. No, getting foul. fouled by Coach Bernardo Stroud. Back to Los Raftery. Hyphen Laugh Raftery. Back over to Sheridan and Taravis Nolan. With the three-point shot, cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Oh, what's it say? <laughs> Coaches lead 81 72 with a minute and 38 left in the game. Coaches lead. If you were just watching, you saw that Bernardo Stroud had a little wimp. If that man strong is is all heck, if you will. He's limping off. Hopefully he's okay. Checking in for him is Joe Young. We got one time out there yelling for the for the coaches. That's going on a man-to-man -man press here. Los Raftery scores with a press from the players, and the coaches can't stop it. They don't know what to do. playing man on the coaches, and the players have stronger legs are prevailing now. But is it too late? We'll find out. 81-74 coaches. I mean, coaches with almost a minute, a minute and four left. I believe. Double bonus for the coaches. Fifth personal for Olgen Sheridor out of the game. The coach has gotten his head. Matt Emanuel, who had had a technical error in this game, is checking Jack in for pulling down foul Cliff's fans. He pulled down Cliff's fans. Another, another pulling down. Another technical being out of the game. Matt! Matt! Matt Emanuel. Can make, his, can make him look like he's 120 pounds, but he's really not. Three-point shot by Corey Spencer, Nothing. and it's an air ball. Coach Glenn Higgins gets it. To Coach Beanie Amos. We got a foul. Foul by Craig Garner. We got a foul here. You heard it. You heard it first. 117 left in the game with the score 82-74. Coaches. Beanie Amos is at the line shooting two. Bernaco subbing back in, showing his strength for Joe Young. Out of the game after a great game play today. Players just not getting it. They got to start taking threes if they want to win this game. Three-point shot by Matthew Emanuel. Missed. Nothing. No one's hitting. Players keep grabbing rebounds, but no match Blocked. for the coaches. 
Michael Oak Factory scores again. 40 seconds left, 82-76 coaches. Smart play by Matt Amelia. If they took a couple threes, it could be a different ball game. All it takes is a couple. 42 seconds left, 80, 82. All it takes is two three-pointers. Two three-pointers. That's it. Two three-pointers in a different ball game. They're right back in this. Two three-pointers, like I said. But if the coaches, now at, it's not. Look at the up fake that Mike Steele is always getting ragged about. Ragged about, up fakes. I gotta learn how to do those a little better. Thirty seconds left. Coach is winning. Eighty-four, seventy-six. Craig Gardner for all three of those. Nothing. Back limited. it. Kevin Barry for all three of those. Got it. Hits the shot. Hits the shot. All they need Could is be a one different more. game. All they need is one more. A couple more of them, actually. Double bonus, 84-79. Coach, with about 12 seconds left in the game. It seems like it's over. The end of the line, he hits this, it's a, it's a done deal. Think so? Positive. See, if you think so, but you gotta remember when Reggie Miller came clutch with the three threes in what, six seconds? He won the game for the Pacers back in two. This isn't the Pacers. Both those hit. Game should be over. Ten, Ten seconds, seconds left. Corey Spencer hits the three. No, Nothing. he does not. Three, two. Foul. Foul. Craig Garner at the three-point line to get three. It could have been anybody. But three doesn't do anything. But it does make it a good game. The game should be over. Shooting three, not two, three. For the line where everything is free, but today everything is three and free. First one, no good. When Higgins talking to Craig Gardner talking about he's not clutching the end. Second one is good. One for two here. Can't be mad at him for that. 86 to 80. What a good game today. A very, very high scoring game. He hits the shot. 81 to 86. Point seven seconds. Point seven. We got ourselves a win for the coaches. My prediction actually was wrong. I said stronger legs prevail, fresher legs prevail, but apparently in this case won. it wasn't. Wiser men won. The wise men won, the old men won. Let's Score 86 81. Coaches, MVP of the game, in my opinion, Copenaco Stroud, Stroud with a big surprise for Joe Armstrong. 14 points, I'll let you know. 14 points, Bernaco Stroud, MVP. How do you feel about this game today, Joe? Dude, that's just a man crap right there. Well, me and Danny Gill are signing off. Games.